Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the TB and J podcast. With me today, you're never going to believe it, Troy Brittingham. Yeah, that's me. Chris Carroll. Uh. And D. We're all here. We're all here, guys. Yeah, For once, in our fucking lives. The boys are back in town. Oh, yeah, man. let's get into no it. One wanted to hear that. TB and J. It took me way too long to set up that stupid bit. Now, do you know if you played too much of that song to, uh... I absolutely did not, and I know that because I Googled it! I Googled the laws. Gentlemen, uh, ladies, human beings of all shapes, sizes, and colors, we did Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 6. Chapter 22, if you're reading the titles of each episode, episode six. Guns for Hire, uh, a.k.a. Cameos Aplenty, and uh, we're going to go around the table and do the whole thumbs up, thumbs down bit. We'll start with Chris, because he's furthest away geographically. Thumbs up for a Jack Black. Okay, uh, fine. Uh, Troy. I'm thumbs down. D. Thumbs up also for Jack Black. Interesting. I'm thumbs down. Interesting. Oh my god, I hated this episode so much. <laughs> the only redeeming factor was the last, like, two minutes? That's it. It's all... Yeah, this, <sighs> so, this, so, this, ep- this episode certainly uh, is missing some stuff. It's missing a lot of stuff, but uh, let's talk about what we liked about it, and we will start with D, because he's the one who's been the longest since he's been here with us. Uh, wh- what did you like about this episode? Why is so, it a thumbs up for you? So, w- we probably... Ag- Agree on uh, in the sense that we disagree. Um, <laughs> that, but you may, can't have. This, you can't have. You can't disagree with that agreement. Uh, <laughs> All right, I think I'm following. Trying yeah, to. You're not. You're I not. agree that I it's disagree with lots and lots of people. It's complete gibberish. It's been I a while. agree to disagree. Can you turn on my volumes? I don't even hear me. Um, uh, that's because your headphones are down. Oh, fair. All right. Anyway, uh, so. This episode was interesting because uh, as jarring as those cameos are, um, <clears throat> it it really solidified for me what, you know, uh, Star Wars and its universe is. And it's just like, it, this is exactly what it is. It's going to be a place for um, where really cool uh, narrative storytelling is kind of going on uh, as well. And then, but you're also going to get like, your cameo appearances and through yeah. through through like the years like Sesame Street like like you know what I mean like in a, in a very family sense it has always been family oriented that's fine and and there's Andor for us and there's there's kind of like other like areas that they're delving into like even with this show like they're they're kind of getting their cake and eating it too like they're getting this episode but they also had that freaking like third episode or wherever it was where Doctor Pershing or yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. by the you, way you got his name right. You got his name right, Pershing. Oh, cool. T- to yeah. add on uh, to Dee's point, impressive. I'm the one that hated episode three, and I like this one to an extent. Yeah. Like so they're making something for everybody. Yeah. I mean, I, I I didn't hate the cameos. I don't like that both Chris and I like it. That's I mean, Chris is horrible at this. Oh yeah, yeah. Chris has the worst taste. I agree. Yeah, I mean, like that's not a great sign for me. Uh, no, I was just watching this, and I uh, I. I I, 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 you know, I just didn't care. I saw Jack Black, and I was like, yes, Jack Black. I was like, he's a national treasure, so. That's, I watched that's this fresh off the heels of watching the Super Mario Bros. I movie. I did the exact same thing. So I was like, plus, oh, right? Jack Black. Yeah, I love Jack Black. It's killing it. it's and he had, like, a, a little sing-songy exchange with Lizzo Can't at the table. He's the man. He's a plus. He's a plus. It's not the greatest band ever. It's a tribute. That's so wrong. Eh, fuck you. Uh... But no, I the, 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 the. I usually do. Chris, what did you like about this man? You're 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 the other thumbs up here. Well, uh, we see a lot of stuff from old Star Wars. We see battle droids. Uh, we see Imperial remnants and what they're doing after the fact. And, and super battle droids. And super battle droids. And we get to see a new planet and city. So that's pretty cool. I'm always uh, a sucker for world building when it happens. Yeah, that's, like that's okay. I like the quills. I like any time there's Christopher Lloyd. That's true. <laughs> what I, I like their kind of downplay of like you're a separatist. He's like I don't like these labels. I'm like, I don't, it's just, you know, separatist is a pejorative. It's a pejorative term. term. <laughs> it's 
It's like, what the fuck, man? Uh, it's... Troy, do you have anything nice to say about this episode? I, I do. I, I... Please do. I think that this episode would play a I'm lot more... I'm like champing more. at the bit here trying to shit on it. <laughs> I, I, would, I think this episode would play a lot better if it wasn't episode six out of eight. Um, it kind of feels like we need to get a move on, which is sort of how I feel like the whole season has been. Um, and last episode really got me hyped up again. And then this one kind of, well, oh, let me do the positives okay, before I slip into the negatives. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I personally do not mind the, uh, the cameos. I actually think that Christopher Lloyd was great in it. Um, uh, I like sort of like, it feels like, like a, just an episode that would be in the middle of a 20 episode Clone Wars season. That's how I felt about um, it. Um and that's a positive Don't back and a negative. Now, Troy. Mm-hmm. Keep supporting me. It's a, it, that, that's a positive and a negative. Um Look at the droids, Marty. I I I you did Look at the droids. I, your I, future. I feel like this One of them is... fuck your mother, Marty. <laughs> droid Don't fuck, fuck your mom? mother, Troy. <laughs> oh, I thought the Come droid on. was fucking my mom. Don't fuck your droid either. It's right. your kids, Marty. Anyway. They're losers. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking re- <laughs> They're just all losers. <laughs> anyway, uh, but but I li- I like the planet and I do like D, the, the, I missed the, you. The, the fight at the end. I like the Mandalorian uh uh challenge at the end. Yes. Yeah, uh, Bo-Katan fighting Axe Wolves, which which is a cool name. It's a pretty, pretty cool pretty name. Pretty sick name. It's, His I, name's Axe Wolf. Axe, Axe Wolves. Wolves. W O V E. It's like one letter off from being wolves. It's wolves without the L. I know, right? At least Axel Rose had the balls to call him something. <laughs> Axel Rose. <laughs> <laughs> not like Axel Rose. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, by the way, di- uh, you, did I hear what? Did you hear that? Uh, Your wife? That my wife threw me out for my uh, my my horrible mm-hmm, Arnold mm-hmm. Schwarzenegger impression. So where are you living these days? Uh. My, or from well, they well, don't worry. So I'm I'm getting back in. I mean, I'll yeah, I mean, he has a he has a key. <laughs> I'll I'll no. re- I'll return. It's mm-hmm. get it because mm-hmm. it's bad short yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Why did you have to ask a question? No. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I just ruined the setup for the joke. Sorry, the... So sometimes. Like, hey, in... oh, is that where the punchline goes? Let me <laughs> let me walk on that. <laughs> That's good. Holy That's solid. Shit. Hey, let me knock knock. Who's the our brain is going? Where are you from? <laughs> knock knock. Who's the I'm Troy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the right residence? <laughs> it's just a knock knock joke. Uh, way to go, oh. Troy. All right, every, gentlemen. Every now and then, I feel like I haven't spoken enough on the podcast. I get real self conscious about it, and then I just always speak. It's always the worst time. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> you're not wrong. You I have to try like, my best over here. Your superpower is stepping on other people's punchlines. <laughs> bad improv. Yeah. <laughs> Tro- Troy, oh. you really need to ham it up so that way it wraps around to being extra funny. Yeah, but I don't want to. You need to crush the punchline so well it becomes its own punchline. If I miss that target, it becomes super annoying. True. I just really want to say that I, I, I think that I love. Just like, how do you interrupt like someone? (laughs) I, I loaf bread. Hey, did you? Do you, no, want you, about, do you want to talk about what you don't like about this episode? No. Yeah, can I, can I show yeah. the episode now, please? Yeah, let's talk about it. No, can we talk like. about what we don't like about Troy some more? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, uh, so, did you say droid? St- I, I was. No, I, I, I hate wanna, droids. I want to just underline this right now. I am completely fine with cameos in Star Wars. When I saw Jack Black and Lizzo, I smiled. I was like, oh, great, awesome. Saw Christopher Lloyd. I was like, oh, that's fucking cool. So I love seeing like? Doc. I didn't like that. Battle droids were like the super battle droids, and I get that they had the the fucking nanobots in them. But like the way it was running away and using things to fight back, it felt uh, that, a little that, too like a person. It was goofy. That, that super then, battle droid was fucking booking it, and they're slow as fuck. And then the fact that uh, the b- droids have a bar, like that, felt really not. I like the droid bar actually. I, I like, hated I it. Like it. I absolutely hated how they're turning them into like people. I think no. I think, I think they. Yeah, Troy's and Star Wars have always become people. That's like their thing. Part of the episode that I liked. They, they, 
in in one almost too perfect fell swoop, they kind of were just like, "No, we do have sentience, and we just we're very happy with our like our programming. That is that is all we do. So we're very." Like the only thing they kind of feel is like they want to serve and they they just want to make us happy. Like, and it just so happens that like that's how AI went. They don't yeah. want the humans <laughs> taking their it, jobs. They got the best they outcome. Just, it's like the it's literally the best outcome where they're they're kind of just dogs, and that's how they're treated. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> oh my god. They, they are. They, they really are, are. They are absolutely treated like some people treat them really well. Some people treat them shitty. You know, but they they're just happy. But to they're serve. dogs. But they're happy to. But they're just happy to be around, and they're going to do whatever. That's right. Like yeah, that's no, kind of that's, that's kind of. I, I actually saw it that is the scene. Be- only metaphor for for the droids in the Star Wars universe is is that like Chewie was like art like jokingly kind of like the 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 pet thing, but it, that he's right. He's, he's more equivalent to, to a person. Yeah, and, and and the droids are absolutely the dogs of the the Star Wars universe, which makes total sense that they be the robot. Like that makes perfect I, sense. It, it was so funny because when I saw when I saw this scene that. and they were describing like what sort of like their whole purposes and like all that stuff, the first thing I thought of was I was like, I wonder how D feels about this. <laughs> Speaking of D and the droids and stuff, I want to point out the props they used for the little flasks in the bar are yeah. the exact same plastic flask that you have that you bring to my house every time we record. Are you? You're are not, you saying that D is a droid? That that they will be fruit. What, I mean, ridiculous. What is <laughs> hey hey? What does what? D what does D stand for? Seven nine two, drunk. What I uh I why do I, we always hear weird feedback on our end whenever D gets in front of a microphone? <laughs> that would be ridiculous, guys. Hold that would on, be there's, so there's, ridiculous. That would be silly. There's, there's, there's one drink, way to figure this out. Take a sip of your drink. Take a sip of your drink. I mean, I was. Take I will. a sip of I your liquid. I got, I, I, hold I on, hold been. on, hmm. hold on. There's one way to figure this out. Hey D. Zero zero one one zero zero one. Yep. All right, he's not <laughs> a robot. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> yep. No, he's definitely not a robot. But uh, I, I, I hated that they Roger, chased. Roger. They chased the super panel droid. God damn it! They chased it down. <laughs> they shot it, and then the crime scene shows up, and fucking Bo-Katan's like, ah, yes. A matchbook with the name of a strip club. Let's go investigate. <laughs> like it's a fucking 1930s noir film. Oh, like, a droid strip club would be cool. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. <laughs> I drip, mean, strip strip club. <laughs> Jeff, on do you know end, how many times they've done that on Future? I want to see. I want to see a droid. But now I need to see a droid lap dance. <laughs> Let's see a bunch of droids get oil ow, sprayed ow, all over ow. them. Three PO. <laughs> oh. I spilled the oil. Oh god damn it. But no, it's just Yo, it's, Jeff, I, you can see their bare circuits. Oh no. But you 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 brought up Futurama. In in the context of Futurama, that is a sitcom. Oh, you broke That's my one circuit. thing. And in in Futurama, robots are basically just like another subsect of people because they do have supreme sentience, their own religions, their own sexualities, their own independence in, in where? In what? and all that stuff in Futurama. But like Boo. in Star Wars Maybe I'm grossly misremembering the last 27 years of my life. I don't Didn't remember. Didn't Lando droids. fuck a robot? Did he? Well, uh, that's that's canon. That's true. Okay. Leia fucked a robot. I didn't know that. Land- Lando. Je- Jeff. Lando. I mean, Lando uh, will fuck anything. Well, Jeff. It, 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 it is well established in Star Wars canon that over that time, Lando's droids. That Lando will fuck anything with a pulse <laughs> or not, as long as it's legal, and even that- then, it's dubious. That's an electromagnetic pulse. Okay. So, but like, I, some planets I didn't think... don't have some planets don't have laws yet. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god, stop talking! <laughs> I need the well, FBI let's find president. Out. Let's find out. Oh god damn it! I hate you two. Uh, you two are too much chaotic energy. Um, but I, I, I didn't think battle droids had that level of sentience and independence and individuality where because they would you're do things like a- that. You're, you're I'm a robo racist. You're a robo racist. Sure, maybe. Well, but, Jeff, or do, maybe, do, clo- do clones have their own personalities? Do they? Hmm? Do what have their own personalities? Do clones have their own personalities? <sighs> I man, all, all I hear is I wouldn't the, give them clone I'm... status. <laughs> I wouldn't give them clone status. Clones are different. Uh, all I'm hearing is that Jeff the, needs to watch Clone Wars. We're saying they're literally sub. They're sub. The way they evolve is that they they kind of just. They follow their programming. They still follow their programming, so they don't have that kind of like true observance. 
I think, is what they get at. At least in this mythology. That's how, kind of how they And then they humor. roll the and, dead body out in a fucking morgue tray. And I'm to like, be come fair, on. They really don't try to address it, but if you want an answer, there it is. And it's it's all that this series that is family oriented as said needs to get into it. They did it in one fell swoop, but they did it well. I, I was impressed by it. Like, listen, there's there's subtle story type, but like you're you're all right in the sense that like episode six and especially after how they've kind of oriented things already. Uh, obviously, these, these kind of actors and cameos have schedules. Mm-hmm. You can't mm-hmm. film these things just whenever, so you got to kind of fit them in when they work. But I mean, Lizzo's know. right now in the middle of a world tour. Jack right. Black just wrapped up Super Mario Bros. movie, mm-hmm. and I know he's got like three other projects he's working on right now. I mean, they're both incredibly busy people. I'm surprised I saw them in Star Wars. Isn't he doing a new Kung Fu Panda? Yes. Mm-hmm. And he's also doing a Tenacious D project that he won't really say what it is, but he's like, I'm working with Dude, Kyle again. I just I love it. I, I just I just rewatched some of Pick of Destiny. It's Pick so of Destiny good. is so good. It's so good. I love it. Um, anywho, uh, the this is um yes, so you no know, I, I in in lieu of the uh like the way that Boba Fett was handled and the fact that so much like a bantha. <laughs> so much of Mandalorian stories was told there, and it had to be retold this seri- this season. That in the like the for whole first episode is a wash because it's just picking trying to pick up where what happened in Mandalorian, and then also never telling the story about really to anybody how how who didn't see Boba Fett how how uh, Grogu got back. Yep. Like so that none of that's there. So now you're bound to get that the next episode, right? Like the next episode you're bound to get like a Ahsoka come back or something like that. Yeah, Is they're that gonna they're they're gonna do like a Boba Fett, like everybody and, comes in and it's for, gonna be like a big thing. And from what I've heard, half these other scenes are like kinda uh you know, just some footage and stuff like they have from the uh the the cancelled uh, uh, Starfleet series or whatever it was called, it's not Starfleet. <laughs> oh, the uh, uh, <laughs> Republic Commando Rangers, uh, uh, Rangers of the Rangers. New Republic. Rangers Thank of the you. New Republic. Yeah, Rangers. Yeah. I was going to say the, the Chippendale Chippen 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 Rangers of the, of the New Republic. Ch- 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 Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Ch- 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 Chippendale. It's danger. <laughs> Thank song. you for unlocking that core memory. It's danger. Um, so are yeah, Chippendale so- bounty hunters. Ch- uh, yes. Geez. No, they were privatized. Private, yes, they they are private eyes. But he's saying, would they be in Star Wars? I uh, listen. I'm very happy. Did you guys see the Chippendales movie? Did we cover yeah, that? Yeah, it's not that. It's not horrible. We did actually. fantastic. We did it. not cover it, uh, and I good. wanted to. Yeah, it was good. It's um, actually not that bad. It's actually. I really didn't good. expect it to be bad. I expected it to be good. Anywho, Mandalorian. Uh, so I, I'm glad you guys were able to tell me I'm wrong about droids in the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Because I've only Mom's really watched the mainline wrong. movies. I haven't branched out into the spinoffs or the series or the animated works a uh, whole lot. I'm very glad to be wrong. Uh, I just thought it was really goofy, but maybe I'm not alone because I, mean, I feel like there's a lot of people that haven't seen Clone Wars or They're a little anything goofy else. in Revenge of the Sith, though. The whole prequels are goofy, though, for a lot of reasons. Yeah, but I'm saying in the first two, they're not really... They don't really have any personality, and then the third one, they kind of In the first them. couple, it's just waves of droids marching yeah. towards the enemy, and that's what always terrified me about battle droids, because I was like, oh, they don't feel. They just attack, now, and what, that's awesome and terrifying. There was a point in time, probably bef- uh, right at the third movie, where they realized that two guys with lightsabers will literally never have trouble with battle droids, and then they were like, yeah, we're just going to kind of make them the goofs of all of these scenes. And, like, 3 has, like, a lot of, like, slapstick with the battle droids. It does. And then Clone Wars has a lot more. Um, and then, like, even there's, like, an episode of Rebels that has battle droids return. They, they're they pretty slapsticky. But then there's that. Mr. Bones. Apparently he's, like, a big bad guy, right? Uh, no. He's a good guy, actually. Is he? He's made by Temin Wexley, who's the guy from Lost in, uh, in, uh, the sequel movies. Oh, no but, some, but some droids are, like, pretty rebellious, right? Mm-hmm. Like, this droid, that droid in, uh, in, Re- in Rogue One is, like, Oh, K two S O. Yeah, K2SO. voiced by yeah. Alan Tudyk. He's sarcastic. Yeah. He's, he doesn't really. Yeah, like he's an imperial there. droid that they stole and kind of wiped and turned into a <laughs> there, rebel. There's some. Know. There's some droids that a character oh, named. Oh, oh, and they're an Andor. Mm-hmm. They're an Andor. Yeah. Yeah. They're cool. There, there's a there's a character also in, in the Jedi comics. There's a character in the comics named uh, Doctor Afra who has two droids that are like. An I'm sorry, evil, what's his name? Uh, her name is Doctor Afra. Oh, I thought you wow. said Dr. Afro. No. <laughs> I also heard Afro. That's pretty close. Afra. Yes. Okay. There's, uh, there's, also, there's also Dr. Acula. 
Ah, <laughs> yes. And uh, Doctor Ack. He only comes out at night. But th- those yes. two, they just they 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 like hate humans except Speaking for Doctor Afra, and they just want to kill. Cardiologist. Everything. We need we need to cover Renfield when that comes out next week. Dude, I haven't seen the preview fully, but I need to. I I I've read it's, it. I uh, kind of don't want to. I the director said it's a direct like sequel to 1938's Dracula. That's ridiculous. Starring Nicolas Cage as Dracula. We definitely need to cover this. Man, fuck Troy's point, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Troy. <laughs> I was saying I was saying that there's shiny th- objects, man. I'm, I'm Well, don't so- worry. The droids are shiny objects. <gasps> they That's are. What I was talking about. Yeah. Um, but I was saying that uh, that I, I actually kind of thought there's like a there's like a black C3PO and R2 at the beginning of this episode. Yep, 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 yep. And I kind oh, of the thought Yep. I kind of thought that they were going to do uh Triple Zero and BT1, which are Dr. Afra's droids, which are like murder droids. They're basically C3PO and R2D2 if they were murderers. And that's the whole bit. Oh, the same I, I like that. Bizarro I mean, 3PO I would, and D2. I would watch that. I would watch I mean, that. they're great. R- R2 yeah. has killed a lot of yeah. people. Yeah, but he, he, he just kind of does it. The BT1 enjoys it. R2 shattered, has two super battle droid kills. Shattered glass R2 is good. Uh, B, uh, BT1 yeah. is is more happy to kill than since Chopper there, Since there's droids, I'm going to go with Transformers lore, uh, alternate universe, like reverse, which is shattered glass. So, Isn't there a new one of those movies coming out too? Transformers? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's so. Sweet. You seem very excited. No, they're all <laughs> fucking garbage. <laughs> they're fucking like they like even when they try to get it right, they get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Troy, you were the other thumbs down, right? Yeah. Shit on this episode with me, please. I, I so, uh, you you go because we kind of cut you off. You were just I, I, you, no, my, you had never have good support. If, you, if, you, if you're trying I, to shit on it. Oh, oh. You want me to help you shit on something. I <laughs> need <laughs> you to help me, I'm sir. not malicious enough. That's true. But <laughs> You really I'll, aren't. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go into it. I just oh, thought that we cut off oh, your point. Smell no, like my, my biggest problems was that like all the droid shit I felt was super goofy, but if droids actually have individualism and they're a yeah, lot you, more sentient than I was thinking, all you, need to do is watch, all you need to do is watch seven seasons of Clone Wars. I'm never going to do and that. And then watch this again. <laughs> Listen, I understand Clone Wars is like almost required reading to fully appreciate Mandalorian and the Ahsoka series that's coming out I would, and the Bo-Katan series that's definitely going to happen because why not? I would go ahead and say, with no exaggeration, there's a case to be made that Clone Wars and Rebels are the best Star Wars. I'm sure they are. I'm not going to watch, what is it, 11 seasons between the two? Yeah. Four plus seven, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not watching 11 seasons of animated television I'm just not. I'm. It's not going to happen. If they can like, bo- if you guys can like boil it down to like these are the essential ones. And there's and the, cut uh, out all the. They're filler. all over the internet. Yeah. Yeah. There's that list like exists. That. Yeah. Hey right. Jeff, cool. uh, could could you uh, just quickly go to Google.com? <laughs> Chris, could you quickly you're not gonna uh, be- you're suck not my gonna dick? Believe, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> you're not going to believe. You're going to love this. I am. You yeah. Love the wheel. Yeah, you can just like ask questions to the internet, and they'll give you answers. They might be wrong, and they'll, and they'll but, never lie. Hey, who they is never the lie. Don't president? Listen to Chris. Don't listen to Chris. They will never lie. Google says the president is Joe Biden. Well, that can't be right. That's true. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. So I'm you actually with hey, Jeff on this. Yeah. Right can't now. trust everything you see on the internet, you guys. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So I that was really my biggest thing. Uh, it, this episode just felt super fucking goofy and ridiculous right yeah, it, until the end when Bo-Katan almost killed Axe. Now, now uh, here's the other thing is I was saying that a positive and negative for me was the um, the fact that uh, it felt like a Clone Wars episode. Uh, there is literally a Clone Wars episode in season seven where they like chase a droid around like a metropolitan city. They chase him around Coruscant and like it literally like it's filmed like this scene oh uh, it's it looks which scene? yeah uh, I, I, uh, there, there's it's a scene the one with ahsoka in, yeah there's oh, okay a, there's a scene where like ahsoka and two people are like chasing around or uh, it's just the one sister are chasing around this big like loader bot the night sisters and it's no uh and it's very very similar to the scene and i'm just like i think i i feel like i've been here before it's like even like lighted the same way I mean, um, to be fair, it's not badly directed, no, and like I, it's it, not horrible. It, this is the episode Bryce Dallas Howard did, and she's a wonderful director. I do love her whenever she's on the other side of the camera. I don't like her so much whenever she's in Jurassic Park. Um, but you know, she did great this episode. You know, I, I don't have problems with how it was made. I just thought it was really fucking goofy. It, it's right just, up it's until just, the end. It's not the worst episode. It's not even the worst episode this season. 
it's it's very if it was in one of the other seasons i think i'd like it more if it was in episode six i think i'd like it more and that's the other thing we're running out of time um, what, what, are we, what else are we gonna but do six they, they always do this six is always like a weird like you're like excited for something to happen and then nothing does um also so, do you think they're gonna do like a part one and part two for the last they two absolutely are they did it for the last two seasons that's what i'm saying but like what else do and, you have to and do? And I also, I also think that we are in the point in time where it, there is no chance it's not Moff Gideon. <laughs> I guess it has to be, right? Mm-hmm. They're, they're in basically his uh, Gazanti, I think the ship is called. Uh, his lair. Yep. Is that the Imperial the, Star Destroyer that the uh, Mandos have? Yeah, it's it's not a Star mm. Destroyer. It's a little bit smaller. Well, it's actually a lot smaller, but it's it's called a Gazanti, I think. No, that was the one that they captured on the fish planet. The one that Moff Gideon had, I don't think they have. Is it not the same one? No, because uh, they had stole that one to go after Gideon with. All right, I'll oh. leave you. Yeah, I, I don't remember. Uh, I also felt that it was a little weird that it's just like, magically her entire fleet is just back under her command. It it felt a well, little too that, like... That's kind of how Mando's. Mando stuff works. It's it, okay. in, uh Darth Maul becomes leader of the entire planet because he chops a guy's head off at one point. True that. Oh. Hey, Jeff, if you go to your supervisor and challenge them to a fight to the death and you win, do you think that some of them would join you? Some of my underlings? Uh, s- some the of fact your, that you uh, called co-workers. them underlings. The fact that he called them underlings <laughs> proves the point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, Agreed. I, 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 I am in charge of a small team of uh, uh I like three. to call them under things. Ah, uh, yes, really dehumanize them. I like to call them under things. Under I don't, things. I don't I don't agree with any of them. Oh it. god, who's this character what's this character's name again? Give him a big old healthy dose Mr. of from under like cheese. Remember. It's like Mr. Hollywood or something. Who did gave you that jacket, Troy? I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't mean to offend. I just you haven't been here in a while. I just Chris, do you have anything bad to you say about this forget. episode? You never forget your first, Troy. <laughs> to add on to Troy's point, this episode very much feels like it would happen in between seasons. A little this bit. Very, this very much feels like the entirety of dealing with Plazier 15's uh, droid problem has nothing to do with the greater story, it feels like. And while I'm happy to, you know, just get a little glimpse into the rest of the Star Wars universe, we're sort of on a time crunch. We want to see things happen. We want to see them yeah. go to Mandalore. We want to the- go see them fight. Each- yeah, we're on a time crunch, but for what? Exactly. They haven't introduced... Like, uh, a season big bad. 100%. They've alluded to it might be Moff Gideon, and they have time to introduce him and then cut to black, wait for season four. Mm-hmm. So, like, what are we waiting for? What are these last two episodes supposed to be? I have no fucking clue, and the fact that I don't know this close to the season finale is mind-boggling to me, and I do not like it at all. The whole pacing of this season feels off. I fucking hate it. I can and, agree uh, to that. I, I was reading uh, something. Could be horseshit. Could not be horseshit. But apparently, that's on the internet. It's, it's it's on, it's the, on internet. the internet. So it must be true. It must be true. That's why Joe Biden is president. The, did you hear that they're going to go into a portal and then they're going to do a bunch of stuff that run rates the? I've seen the that. The I've seen that trilogy. theory. <laughs> no, but uh, apparently Favreau didn't want Grogu coming back until season like four or like a three finale. But Kathleen Kennedy, which is pushed. exactly what I said. That's what he said. But and I told him he was a big dumb hunk of shit. Apparently, Kathleen Kennedy pushed for Grogu to come back sooner because they they wanted, want uh, that fucking money. They want that baby uh, Yoda smart. money. They want that yeah. Yoda. They money. want that it makes sense he, baby eats. It makes sense because he's he's really useless in this season. He's so fucking useless. Hey, in this did you see that flip? I told him to do that flip. The most <laughs> pivotal thing he's done is like show up a Mando kid. And then help the fucking lady of Plazier 15 get, like, dunk on all of her fucking uh, uh, peasants. Like, mm-hmm. that's all that they've done, really. Like, I, I don't... Don't worry. Yeah, I'll be back again. Like, it'll, it'll sure. Be, it'll sure. Be, it'll be super serious. Super, super serious. Absolutely. Super duper. But, like, I don't fucking... When, when baby eats... I forgot on... we called him baby eats. When no, baby that's eats... that's true. That's the correct name. Puts on that tiny little Mando helmet <laughs> with fucking ears. You're going to be like, I didn't know I fucking wanted this. No, no I don't still... want that. And now I want it. <laughs> can you imagine the Grogu at Build-A-Bear? They just have like a Mando armor set you can buy for it that matches the show and then you can put his little helmet on and 
Put a little armor on. They'll sell so many of those mm-hmm. fucking things. Mm-hmm. They'll sell armor. it hand over fist. Little little mesh little mesh shirts for like seventy five dollars a pop. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And God, people from what I from it. what I know about making those kinds of shirts, that's a pain in the fucking ass to whoever makes it. That's why it's seventy five bucks. It's not gonna be real Some mail. people pay a lot of money for a pain in the ass. <laughs> D, are uh, you one of those people? So so I do have I do have I'll one more never thing to tell. Say. Is it related to Favreau and Kennedy? No, okay. it, it's it. Uh, I I I don't think I believe that specifically. Um, mostly because I I don't believe on I don't believe anything that specifically is like they had a good idea and then Kathleen Kennedy came in and she like, does kind of ruin a lot of things though. I don't I don't I feel like it's a somehow good Kathleen Kennedy returned. I don't. Kennedy, I, Kathleen Kennedy. I, I I I I truly don't think that she's like this evil mastermind behind the scenes. mastermind. No, but wrong. she's definitely incompetent. I don't think that's true. Look at her filmography. She did everything. That's. <laughs> no man. They Bill asked her about the Mog sequel Mog movies. Jones movies. They asked her about the sequel movies, and she was like, "Yes, yeah, Star Wars movies, just a tough nut to crack, and we had nothing to work with, so we had to start from scratch." It's like, no, you had the entire expanded universe, all of Legends to work with. You chose not to, and you, you adapted remade just- Episode Four. <laughs> you adapted just enough of the books to not pay anyone, but not enough to make it make sense. Right, but you have to remember that J.J. Abrams also made some movies. <laughs> he did, but she gave him three J. movies J. and he didn't have a plot. Like That's something movies. you flush out before you sign a contract. Well, she gave him one movie, and then they, she did bring him back for the third one. And I do think, I think, I'm not saying that no blame is hers. I just, I just, you know, the internet narrative is very much like, everybody's like, oh, please, we have all these good Star Wars things. And then she, like, kicks down the door, and she goes, no, I want to make bad Star Wars things. <laughs> and, like, that's just the narrative that's always fun, she's so I'm the, always... She's the dark side. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So I'm, I'm always... I'm following you. I'm, I'm usually hesitant to, like, immediately be like, oh, she must be the root of all evil. And she could be in a lot of these situations. She definitely has been the problem in a lot of situations. I just don't think that she is the only one making problems. <laughs> no, she's not the only one, but she has made a lot of problems. Sure. Uh, but, um... Do you think there'd be fewer or more problems if she were away? Uh, it, it, it's so hard to say. The devil you know is better than the devil you don't, mm. I guess. But, like, fuck, man. <sighs> that That's a, I mean, that's a hard... Because, like I said, the, the reason... It's tough not to crack. The reason I was saying... Like, if you look at her filmography, like, things she's produced, it's, like, E.T., all the Indiana Jones movies, uh, um, like, it's, like, every Spielberg movie and George Lucas movie, like, she's a part of. And I'm, like, are they just, like, great and have been carrying this woman her whole career? Because I I can't imagine that that's it. That probably can't be it entirely, but... How much creative input did she have over those endeavors? Right, versus and also, just sitting down and doing a job. But it's it's also yeah. Like you don't you don't tell Spielberg what to do. Sure. Yeah, or Lucas for that matter, as the prequels demonstrated. You can't yeah. tell him what to do. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but maybe, had, maybe she should have had creative uh, control for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but but I had I had a point about the actual like show itself. Yes, please. I I do think that there's a chance that this episode does have sort of a um an impact like later later seasons like four or five jack black if, turns out to be actually an imperial yeah he's a sith lord with a lightsaber no um no but they they are like they end up they get end up getting like the key to the city with this or the planet i guess with this uh at the end of this episode and they said they would acknowledge mandalore as legitimate right and petition the republic to and recognize them in future things that we've seen force awakens mainly um there is at maz kanata's bar there's a big mandalorian flag so like i'm wondering if they're gonna do things where like they're going to lead into, like, and the Mandalorians become part of the New Republic somehow, and this is sort of, like, their way in, and Jack Black's going to come back and be sort of their bridge in. So That would be a really cool way to explain a stupid little Easter egg in a movie. Well, I mean, but there's things that you can do with the Mandalorians being part of the New Republic. You can. Absolutely you can. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, there, there's no way that wasn't just a throwaway thing. No, I, I, it is that. I'm just saying that, like... I mean, it's... I'd rather watch the Mandalorians fuck around about the universe than watch the Jedi. I think they're much more interesting the than the Jedi. Jedi. I mean, so far, yeah. I, I'm enjoying definitely this. less explored. Yeah. 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 
that's that's absolutely true. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a I'm a Jedi person, but I I do love Jedi. Don't get well, me wrong. We've Jedi, Jedi firmly sexual. established how you love uh, sword. Laser sword. That's true. Like laser That's sword very true. Well, guess very... what? Yeah, they only have one. Like you're it's barely cool interested <laughs> in Yoda in Baby Eats because uh, he doesn't have a sword yet. Sword. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like you'd like, be like way more invested if be that yeah, if, one of those little. Swords if came. I if I ever had a kid, I'd be like, "What's the point? You can't hold a sword, idiot!" Like you got you got a little you get a little wet when you see the dark saber though. A little bit. It's a very cool sword. Are you considering getting the one that Hasbro just released, the Force Effects Dark Saber? I don't want any of the ones that would instantly break on contact with anything, and they can't make a thing shaped like the dark saber that doesn't break instantly. You don't want like. one that you can't swing around. I want to swing with. I want to hit people with it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Not maliciously. Well, I know. Where you, uh, Chris, do you have any final thoughts? Uh, no, I don't think so. Perfect. I need your guys' opinion on something. No. So, no. Uh, I'm yes, Jeff, you are too fat. No. Oh, sorry. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Do we, that. I I disagree. Don't do it. I'm going to Walt Disney World, Florida for my honeymoon. I can pay $250 to go to Savi's workshop in Hollywood Studios in the uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge bit, Mm -hmm. and I can create my own lightsaber while I'm in there, do the experience, and then I get this really shitty plastic toy lightsaber when I'm done. Or, for the same price, I can get the super awesome top-of-the-line Obi Wan Kenobi uh, Elite Force Effects replica that comes with a removable bl- a removable blade and a display stand, and it comes in an awesome box that's like gray and blue, and it's got the Jedi logo, and it opens up like a fucking lightsaber case from the movie. It looks so fucking cool, and that's the same price as building my own shitty plastic one that will not look like anyone that I, I like. Do have a question? A, a, a qualifying question, please. What are the chances that no matter what we say, you will get swept up in the moment in Disney and then make it anyway? <laughs> well, that's the thing. So those things you have to book three months in advance or they get booked up and you can't do it. I see. So I would have to make this decision in the next few months before we hmm. go. Uh, third option, do neither and give me 250 bucks. That's oh, a good, that, that's, that's a, a third call. option. That's not a bad call. Uh, um, I, I think it is, but you know. Uh... Because, like, you do build it yourself, that's mm-hmm. great, but it's also, like... You're paying for it's the a, experience, not the It's experience. a hell of an experience. Is it, though? Well, I mean, the actual, like, crafting a lightsaber, maybe, getting, like, a shitty replica at the end, not so much. Yeah, and then they direct you into, like, a separate store where you can buy different plastic pieces to swap it out so you can make it look like... Uh, like Obi Wan's or Anakin's or whatever. You see, I I value not owning one that looks like somebody else's. I don't uh, want one that doesn't look like anybody else's. That's so funny. I you want your I, lightsaber. I I own a bunch of lightsabers that specifically don't look like anybody's. Interesting. And and I would rather buy those. Huh. It's very interesting. I, I love how we have like completely and like you want to hit people with it. I never want to hit somebody with my lightsabers. Well, that means that you're gonna lose our lightsaber fight. I, I wouldn't fight with lightsabers. <laughs> that doesn't sound enjoyable to me, actually. Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Is right. it now? I'll take uh, all of this under consideration when I... Uh, it's, I mean, up... it seems like we gave you no answer at we all. Saw, exactly. We saw another Mando battle in this. Do you, do, or a Mandalorian battle. Do you, do you like this Oh, shit. Battle? That's right. We did. I, I do think it's the best part of the episode, though. I think yeah, it's, it a, is. I think Absolute, it's a cool yes, choreograph. Yes, absolutely. Fight. Why didn't you cut me off to put us back on the rails? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, that's a good that's, point. He, that's he was off in his own little world. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, Bo-Katan versus Axe Wolves. That was a pretty neat little fight, and uh, she won it kind of handily. Like, Oh, we didn't talk about the, the win by technicality. What win by technicality? Okay, so this is like, again, she's... like, is, we're so, is this supposed to be kind of like messed up again, where it's just like, again, she doesn't really get it through like th- but like i i think it's legit because it's just like didn't like i, I thought uh-huh. when that happened i'm like well dude beat mando mm-hmm. now it's l- like and then she damn, beat dude that dude has lightsaber or da- dude has dark saber she beats dude she gets lightsaber like it's hers like she just didn't give it up that's literally the same logic line they use for the fucking elder wand in the last harry potter book i understand it and it makes sense you don't like it. I just feel like it's a little bit of a wet fart. 
Yeah, it I should mean, have been a it should have been a lot bigger than it was. And also, I just find it fucking hilarious that Din didn't say anything until after her fight. Whereas, if she had lost, we'd be like, cool, well, this is your dark saber now. We've established many times that Din Djarin's a big dumb hunk He's of shit. He's a big dumb hunk of shit, dude. <laughs> He's a big dumb he hunk really of shit. He really is. And, and is Din Djarin just, just a himbo? He's, yes. Yeah, 100%. Oh, he's yeah. A, he's in a cult. <laughs> <laughs> You don't get much dumber than being in a cult. And he doubles down on it every time. They're like, you have to go to our scorched planet and find the water. He's like, okay, <laughs> I'll go. Be- I'll like, bring I my baby. I- I I'll bring s- my baby in an R5 yeah, droid. One day, one day we'll see this from the other perspective of the rest of the universe. And we'll be like, what yeah, the every, fuck is this guy every, thinking? Every time he walks away, the armor and paws just turn to each other and just like, what if? Fucking idiot! <laughs> it's like the uh, the opposite of Mad Max, where he leaves and everyone's like, "Oh, that guy's so awesome." Yeah, he just, leaves and it's like, "What the fuck what is, is up with that guy?" What a dumbass! <laughs> yeah, go bathe in the waters of Mandalore, you fucking idiot! And then they have yeah, later. As soon as he leaves the room, man, they all take his helmet off and they're like, "Thank guy. God!" <laughs> it's like a new mechanic. He doesn't take it off. He still believes the helmet thing, guys. Yeah, I imagine once so he good. comes back with the water, they're just slack jawed inside their helmets. How the fuck did this asshole live? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do every time. It's like when I was a kid and I was trying to help my dad work on the car, and he said, yeah, go into the garage and get me a gallon of headlight fluid. Thanks. And I'm like, okay. And I'm sitting there looking in the garage for like an hour. And I come back. I'm like, Dad, I can't find it. And he was like, you fucking idiot. He just laughed in my face. Ah, so childhood us, trauma. Tell us more about your, your, your trauma from your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a very valuable lesson that day. Never trust your father? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Dad. Yeah. I know you listen. You got to um, that one. Uh, I think that's it for Mando episode six, or season three episode six, rather. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah our focus was we were, we were very on point and didn't mean Ever get all. distracted. Right. No? no, we were really professional today. This was a Absolutely. pretty, pretty solid podcast. Pretty, pretty, I think pretty we're back. Good. Pretty, I, think we're I think the boys are back in town. <laughs> oh, I think the boys are I don't really have the back thing. in town. The boys sing. are back in town. <sighs> I'm just going to do you it can't myself. Sing wow. that. If that didn't improve, my point. Yeah, this <laughs> outro is pretty good, too. Do you want to add anything else to it? So that's a no. Chris, do you have anything to say? Um, plethora. Oh, look at that. I muted his mic. Wow. I didn't. D, what about you? How's your Marvel Snap game? Yeah, how's Marvel Snap going? I see, I see a card. What was that, the Hulk? Oh. That's why. No, stop the presses. I, I'm going to fucking... I, no. Stop everything right now. You're playing Marvel yeah. Snap during the podcast. Is that why you haven't been paying attention? I'm losing the Marvel Snap on the podcast. You uh. fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. it. That's the end. Cut. I love it.